on my way to Kentucky again. That's about as good as I can get for a sunrise today. It's out the rear view mirror. I'm on my way to Kentucky to meet my dad and my friend Seven. I'm gonna do a little Civil War relic hunting today. I'm running behind though. Those boys are probably gonna beat me. It's par for the course. For all you Civil War enthusiasts out there, this gap in the mountain right up here is Bull's Gap. And it was a heavily occupied position during the Civil War here in East Tennessee. go through the tunnel again. It's a little known fact that I usually try and hold my breath the whole way through this tunnel. Seven. We're gonna look for some Civil War relics. Hopefully we'll turn some stuff up. It's a little cloudy, but uh, we're hoping we'll make it through the day without getting rained on too hard. Talking snow? Just talking about some snow, so Never we'll happened. see. Never happened. Never happened. <laughs> I got my first signal of the day. I'm out here with Seven. And Dad is off in the background there. Seven's filming me, filming him. <laughs> So that's my first signal, it's a J-hook from the Civil War. So that's a great find for the first good signal of the day. I'll take it. How deep was it? Looks like it was maybe six or, seven. six or seven inches deep. Not too deep, it gave a really good signal on the ATX. And it's a good find for the first one of the day. I'll take it for sure. There's going to be some more relics come out of here today, I'm sure, between the three of us. Looks like maybe Seven has a find. Let's go see what he's come up with. That's a staff cuff, isn't it? Ah, it appears to be. Because see how domed it is? Uh-huh. That's the face off of a yeah, that's... staff officer button. Yeah. Excellent find, Seven. Tiny little button in this high grass. Mine Lab's pulling it out. Yeah, it's a good signal. About six inches, five, six inches. Something other like that, yep. Yeah. Great start, Seven. Yeah. It's been quite a while now. Dad's over there with Seven. I think Seven's been finding some stuff. I hadn't found anything much. But I, I walked way back in the back fields, and I'm just now making my way back up to them. And there's my first good signal back in the field. It's a three ringer, so that's good. That's my second Civil War relic for the day. Really glad to have it. That makes my whole drive to Kentucky worth it. That and getting to spend the day out with Seven and Dad. So, really pleased with that. It's a really good find. Well, my last hole was right here. And Seven just came over and knelt down and talked to me. And right where he was kneeling, I got a signal. And here's another three ringer. Right in the dirt, I just see the rings poking out. So that's a good find. Let's see if I can get it out of there. Yep, sure is. Another three ringer. Pretty cool. Well, we've moved to a different field. And I just got a signal here. It was hitting 69.70 on my AT Pro. And I flung it out of the hole when I dug it. But to me, it looks like a Burnside bullet. Let's see if I can wipe it off a little bit. Yeah, I think that's going to be a burn side. I could be wrong, but pretty confident that that's what we're looking at there. So that's a good find. This is the field where all the geodes have been found, so I think I'm going to load up some of those geodes today, too. Well, guys, there's a beautiful Indian head penny that just came out of the ground. and I mean, it is in great condition. It's 1890, and uh, it's going to clean up really well. It, it wasn't circulated long before it was dropped. 
So I'm in hunting where I think this home site is. Dad and Seven are out in the field somewhere over there. I'm making my way back over to them, but good little find. Well, I've been working in here amongst all these signals. There's a ton of signals here. There's a good one here, if it's what I think it is. I'm hoping it is. Let's see. Looks like a 69. Yeah, buddy. That's why I'm over in this part of the field. I found a lot of 69s in here before. I was hoping I'd find another one. And there one is. That's really great. <clears throat> it was given a high squeaky signal that would kind of bounce down into the lows um, on the AT Pro. So, really great find. Happy with that. I hope the boys are over there finding some There's a nice little pistol bullet just came out. My battery's dying on all my cameras, though, so I'm going to try and keep it brief. Good little signal, though. Going to keep at it. The snow's starting to fall. There's a little flower button that just came out. Really cool. That is the tiniest parasol spindle I've ever found. It's smaller than my pinky. Sounded good. Well, here's a good signal. It may be one of my last ones for the day. I don't know, though. We'll see. Looks like a Sharps. I think I see a bit of the brass casing still on there. So that's a good find. And uh, it was pretty deep down in here. I'm hunting with the Nautilus now. Going for the deep stuff, so. It's been a good day, though. Uh, the wind's really blowing. Dad's over there. I don't know what he's hollering about. But... Alright, well, we're wrapping it up. The boys here are talking. I'm getting ready to head back to Tennessee. It was a good day in Kentucky. We all got some good relics. Seven got some good relics. Dad got a bunch of bullets. I got a handful of bullets. So I think we're all happy with the day. You guys make sure and go and check Seven's channel out. I'm sure he'll have some video from the hunt today. So you guys might enjoy seeing what he found. Subscribe to his channel. Check out my dad's channel, Kentucky Relic Hunter. And we'll all be back out in the field before you know it. So we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.